Hey guys, it's Christina Marie and I do YouTube videos about lots of things, one of them being Holland America Cruise Lines. So one of the problems with Holland America, sorry, is that there's not a lot to do on board the cruise ship. So if you were on a Holland America cruise with a sea day or two or three, you may be wondering what should I do on a sea day on a Holland America cruise? I have 10 tips for you so that you will not get bored on a Holland America cruise. And none of these tips involve a sewing machine, which is uh, what my mom actually did on her last cruise is pack a sewing machine, believe it or not. Okay, so the first thing to do on a Holland America cruise on a sea day is to play cards. I would recommend that you pack your own playing cards. Holland America has a crow's nest with games, but they never seem to have playing cards. So just go ahead and throw a deck of playing cards in your luggage. The second thing to do on a sea day is to go to the hydro pool. Now, my mom personally always gets the package for the full cruise to go to the hydro pool. She absolutely loves it. They have a relaxation room. They have the hydro pool itself. They have different steam rooms. It's really, really nice. Um, if it is a sea day and you're wondering how to kill two hours, just pay for the one day pass to the hydro pool. It is probably at least $50, but it's definitely worth it. It's always really, really nice. Um, the third thing to do is to walk around the what deck, deck is that? The promenade deck on deck three. I personally just love walking around the deck on Holland America cruise ships on sea days. It's a great way to get exercise. You could go to the gym. Um, you might be thinking that's a tip. I personally don't go to the gym on sea days. I don't like the rockingness. Um, I might go for like 10 minutes to lift weights, but usually I prefer just to walk around the deck. The fourth thing to do on a sea day on Holland America cruises is to play pickleball. So Holland America on the sports deck, which is deck 11, I think, um, they have a basketball court, but honestly, nobody's ever playing basketball up there. They're usually playing pickleball. So what I would recommend you do is on the first time, first day that Holland America has scheduled pickleball, go so that you meet people that play pickleball and find out when they play. But usually there's people up there playing pickleball and it's lots of fun. If you don't know how to play pickleball, I'll include a link below to a video from Holland America. That's a really nice overview of how to play pickleball for beginners. The fifth thing to do on a Holland America cruise on a sea day is go to the crow's nest. So the crow's nest, I think, is on deck 11. Um, it's above the gym and it's just this big open room with nothing but windows on the outside and lounge chairs. It's really, really relaxing. I personally love to just go up there and chill. They also have games in the crow's nest, a really nice coffee shop in the crow's nest, a few books, and a bar with alcohol. So if you want a cool place to chill on Holland America cruise ships on sea day, go to the crow's nest. Okay, the sixth thing to do on a Holland America cruise day so that you don't get bored is to journal. So I personally usually cruise in January to avoid the cold. And I find being on a cruise is just really, really relaxing. It's a really good time for me personally um, to sit down and write it down like my goals for the year, just kind of to think about like the past year, what did I like? What did I not like? What do I want to change in my life? Where do I want to see myself in one year, five year, 10 years? It's just a really good time to journal and kind of look back and make plans for the future. The seventh thing to do on a Holland America sea day is to go to tea time. So I'll include a link to a video below showing you what tea time is like on Holland America cruise ships. It's usually around three o'clock, show up right at three cause they, um, they serve you and then they clean up and they'll have like biscuits and little sandwiches and tea. And it's just kind of a fun thing to do. Okay. The eighth 
thing to do on Holland America cruise ships on sea day is not to go to the spa for a pedicure or manicure. Um, go ahead and do that, but it's twice as much or do your own nails. Um, I personally did these nails. These are actually nail wraps and I'll include a link below to buy these on Amazon. Um, this is the second week of having these nails. They're way healthier than, um, gel nails and they last forever and they're basically just like stickers that you can put on your fingernails um so if you have like 15 minutes to spare and just want to do your own nails on the cruise ship um that's a way to kill some time the ninth thing to do on a holland america cruise ship on a sea day is just to sit on your balcony if you have a balcony and turn on your tv put on some relaxing music and just chill and look out at the ocean. It's awesome, it's beautiful. And then the 10th thing to do on a Holland America cruise ship is to go to either the main pool or the adult pool. Um, I feel like both pools are usually really, really happening sometimes near um, it depends on the cruise ship, actually, which pool they do it at, but they'll have like a cute little line dance class that's usually fun. You can get drinks at the pool. You can usually get snacks. They have food. So it's just a good way to spend a sea day on Holland America cruise ships. Okay, let's do a summary. And if you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe below. Give me a thumbs up. It makes my day. Okay, so here are 10 ideas on what to do on a Holland America cruise ship on a sea day so that you don't get bored. Okay, one is to play cards. Two is spend the day at the hydro pool, which you pay a little bit more for. Three is to walk around the deck or go to the gym. Four is play some pickleball because it's a lot of fun. Um, five is go to the crow's nest. You can play games, you can read a book, you can get coffee, you can get alcohol there. Six is to journal. Seven is go to tea time. Eight is do your nails for you ladies or guys. I guess you could trim your nails. Um, nine is to sit on your balcony and just enjoy the view of the ocean. And 10 is go to the adult pool where all of the excitement and things are happening. Uh, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions about Holland America Cruise Line, leave a comment below. I'd love to help you out. Thanks guys.